Bennett was 62, retired and proud of it. Every morning he took his coffee black, his toast dry, and read the paper like it still mattered. A former mechanic from Ohio, his hands were calloused, his humor dry, and his cholesterol unfortunately high. He'd always ignored the little warnings. The occasional chest tightness, the shortness of breath climbing the porch steps. Just getting older, he'd mutter. Besides, he didn't want to waste time at the hospital. He had small tomatoes farm to tend to. But that Tuesday morning felt different. He was raking the front yard when the pain hit, not sharp, but crushing, like an engine block had landed on his chest. It radiated down his left arm. He tried to shrug it off, stubborn as ever, until the world swam, his knees buckled, and he hit the ground hard. His neighbor on her day off work saw him collapse. She was by his side in seconds, phone in hand, calling at 911. The ambulance came roaring down Maple Street. At the ER, the monitors screamed. ST Elevation MI Cath Lab was ready within minutes. They wheeled Bennett in, pale and drenched in sweat, while a team of calm but urgent professionals moved with clinical precision. A blocked Alad the Widowmaker, but they got it. A stent was placed. Time, for once, had been just enough. Three days later, Bennett sat up in bed, eyes clearer, skin pinker, appetite returning. He looked at Angela who had brought him a crossword. You saved my life, he said, voice cracking. She smiled. No, the paramedics, the cardiologist, the nurses, they saved your life. I just made sure you didn't die in the dirt. Bennett chuckled, then paused. Guess it's time I start listening to my body and maybe lay off the bacon. Angela raised an eyebrow. You think? Bennett grinned. The second chance tasted better than any breakfast he'd ever had. If you enjoyed the story, subscribe, like, and turn on notification for more on the Medical Frontline Chronicles.